Taranaki in New Zealand presents an unusually perfect site. An almost symmetrical mountain surrounded by a prominent circle of forest looks like a picturesque view, but what lies beneath the surface can affect more than 85,000 people living 30 kilometers from the mountain. Mount Taranaki is actually a volcano, and scientists think it's about to explode. Welcome to our channel, Nature Unraveled. Now in this video, we'll talk about Mount Taranaki, a stratovolcano in New Zealand, and the probability of it exploding in the next few years. Stay with us as we uncover statistics and facts that make scientists believe an eruption is much closer than we think. Nature is a mysterious thing. On the one hand, it marvels us with its boundless beauty, and on the other, its sheer might leaves us feeling scared and helpless. Drought, avalanches, coastal flooding, earthquakes, hurricanes, ice storms, heat waves, and volcanic eruptions. There are so many natural phenomena that continue to alter and reshape the Earth and its environment. Volcanoes are one such nature's marvel, inconspicuous at first glance, they have the power to destroy everything in their path once they erupt. Ancient people believed that volcanoes were controlled by the gods and thus they were named after the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. While that is an interesting perspective, let's understand the science behind a volcano and what we can expect from an eruption. Volcanoes are usually found where tectonic plates meet, called the plate boundaries. Hence, almost 75% of the Earth's active volcanoes are situated on what is called the Ring of Fire, a 40,000-kilometer strip marked by volcanoes and seismically active sites. At present, there are 1,500 potentially active volcanoes around the world, and one of these is Mount Taranaki, but we'll discuss more of that later. A volcano is a rupture in the Earth's surface that creates an opening for magma, which is hot liquid and semi-liquid rock, volcanic ash, and gases to escape. While there are different types of eruptions, the most daunting is the glowing avalanche where burning hot magma flows down the sides of a volcano. The high speed of the flowing magma combined with sweltering temperatures of up to 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit makes this kind of eruption a lethal force to reckon with. Volcanic eruptions can result in thousands of deaths while leaving behind additional threats to health such as floods, power outages, wildfires, drinking water contamination, etc. They also heighten several other health concerns including burns, respiratory illness, infectious disease, and more. Undoubtedly, volcanic eruptions can cause widespread panic and devastation. However, they are also accompanied by a few benefits, such as precious mineral deposits like gold, aluminum, and nickel, nutrient-rich fertile soil created from volcanic ash, geothermal energy, a good example is Iceland where most energy generates from geothermal sources, and lava flows can also create land, a new island appeared off of Hawaii's coast due to lava from the 2018 Kilauea eruptions. Now that we have a better understanding of this natural phenomenon, let's move on to the silent volcano that is Mount Taranaki. With a height of 2,518 meters, Mount Taranaki is the second highest peak on the North Island. It's located within Te Papakura o Taranaki, which is the Egmont National Park. The region takes the mountain's name from the Maori tribe where Tara means mountain peak and Naki comes from the word Nyaki meaning glistening. Mount Taranaki holds significant importance for all eight iwis, Maori tribes, within the region. Mount Taranaki is one of the most symmetrical volcanic cones in the world. It's termed a stratovolcano or a composite volcano since it is made up of several layers of volcanic ash and lava. Stratovolcanoes are categorized by a sharp silhouette with a summit crater and are known for effusive and explosive eruptions. Eruptions usually occur from a dominant vent in the form of lava domes and flows, lahars, floods, and major collapses resulting in calderas. The lava from these volcanoes is high in viscosity, therefore it cools and hardens quickly before spreading far. Mount Taranaki at present contains a lava dome enclosed by both ice and snow. When seen from an aerial view, Mount Taranaki presents an unusual and spectacular view. There's a large-scale circle around the stratovolcano with six miles of thick forest. Beyond the boundary of this circle are intensely farmed and brilliantly green pastures. The stark contrast between old-growth forest looms and neatly trimmed pastures is striking indeed. 
Stay with us as we explore why scientists believe Mount Taranaki will explode soon. But before we continue, please do give this video a thumbs up if you found its information so far useful. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and press that notification icon to get instant video notifications. Now let's get back to why Mount Taranaki is like a ticking time bomb. The imposing stratovolcano has been silent for more than 200 years, with its last eruption in 1790. This quiet period has been its longest on record, but scientists believe that a massive explosion is overdue sometime soon. This prediction is based on the analysis of Mount Taranaki, which has witnessed almost 230 eruptions over the past 30,000 years. Hence, the long-standing silence of this stratovolcano might be an indication of impending doom. Looking at the statistics, scientists believe the probability of a new eruption is between 1% and 1.3% each year. While it is impossible to predict the exact time when it might happen, the volcano's fiery history suggests that it will cause destruction whenever it does occur. Mount Taranaki lies on a volcanic chain that includes several areas, such as the Kaitake and Puokai Ranges, Sugarloaf Islands, and the Paritutu. The volcanologist at the University of Auckland, Professor Shane Cronin, said the following in a research paper, quote, What has emerged from this analysis is the realization of how Mount Taranaki represents the most recent of a long lineage of volcanoes that extends from west of Auckland all the way down the western offshore margin of the North Island. The Taranaki began developing around 130,000 years ago, experiencing moderate to high-intensity eruptions, on average of every 500 years or so. The volcano regularly saw smaller eruptions as well as every 90 years. Hence, the eruption of Mount Taranaki is not a matter of if, but when. Professor Cronin states in his research, We are now in a slow period at the moment, so we expect that once it begins erupting again, it will resume the busy frequency. Looking at the history of Mount Taranaki, we know that it has collapsed many times, resulting in historical landslides, lava, and pyroclastic flows. The effects of these eruptions have been experienced in 7 to 40 kilometer radiuses of the cone. In addition, the ash emitted from the volcano varied between 1 millimeter and several centimeters. If you're wondering, what are the direct indications of Mount Taranaki erupting soon? There are none, but its long geological history tells us not to be fooled by its complacency. The GeoNet project regularly monitors the Mount Taranaki volcano, hence the eruption will not be sudden. In fact, there will be a significant warning period likely to range between days to months. Let's understand the magnitude of potential destruction this volcano's eruption can cause. While it's true that volcano eruptions don't happen overnight, and people usually get the chance to vacate their homes to avoid casualties, this doesn't mean there is little to no damage. Hundreds of residents become displaced, businesses and industries come to a halt, and the health and safety of the entire Taranaki population lands in jeopardy. A volcano eruption leads to massive disruption of regional transport, closures of airports, and failures of lifeline networks. The ash fall destroys anything and everything that comes in its way, so you can expect significant damage to residential and commercial properties, along with the area's basic infrastructure like roads, grid stations, and etc. And these are just the physical effects of Mount Taranaki's potential eruption. The economic impacts of such an event can continue for years, even decades. Surrounding Mount Taranaki are almost 1,800 dairy farms, and as agriculture forms the basis of economic activity in the region, any damage to these properties will have catastrophic effects on the livelihood of thousands of people. An eruption could contaminate water, pasture, and crops with ash, and even cause permanent loss of land use in affected areas. The oil and gas industry is also crucial for the economic stability of the Taranaki sector. Hence, destruction or damage to its infrastructure will impact the national economy greatly. Can you imagine the havoc a volcanic eruption can cause to production plants, storage facilities, and pipelines? However, according to Professor Cronin's research, there aren't any super eruptions expected from Mount Taranaki anytime soon. Instead, the volcano will generate long-term, really annoying and disruptive effects across the entire country. Its location with respect to the main wind directions means that ash will be dispersed across most of the North Island and its impacts will be felt from Auckland to Wellington. Recent insights have allowed Taranaki civil defense planners to create new hazard zones and models. In addition, the stratovolcano is constantly monitored by a series of seismic stations. 
If earthquake patterns trigger magma to move toward the surface, it will be immediately identified. Hence, there will be sufficient time to prepare for the eruption, reducing the chances of major loss of life. Highlighting the long-term effects of Mount Taranaki, Professor Cronin says, Once volcanism begins, the region will have to transition into a new normal of living alongside the volcanism. However, what we see from the geological record and from similar volcanoes around the world show us that this is possible. As we come to the end of this video, we can conclude that Mount Taranaki can explode at any time in the future, but there is a fighting chance that the people living in the area will escape it with minimum damage. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content just like this. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you for watching.